Well, here we are, walking in William O'Brien State Park. Here, uh, here I am. And we're coming up on the uh, most difficult trail here, and here's a shelter. And I just heard the emergency siren go, which gives me a little concern, because I'm two miles out here in the middle of the trail. So we'll uh, see what happens. And there's a shelter. So we'll uh, go sit in there. And here's the trail we're going to do, hardwood forest. So, and there it disappears. So we'll take a little break. Well, <clears throat> about uh, probably a quarter to a third of the way into the uh, most difficult trail. And other than a pretty sharp uphill ascent when it started out, it really hasn't been that bad. You can see here behind me the terrain, pretty muddy. Just a big wide trail, so. It has not been, as they say, most difficult, but it's uh, certainly a very pretty area. And you know, the birds are uh, birds are singing, and uh, all kinds of squirrels running through the trees, and just enjoying myself a lot. It's pretty hot and humid here when there's no wind. So, ooh, and there are trees creaking all over. So we'll check in again in a little while. Sun is hiding behind some clouds, so that's uh, certainly uh, certainly going to cool things down a little. The breeze is keeping going here. I'm out at the edge of the park, so we look past, and it's all uh, farm fields out there, so that's really pretty. And the trail hasn't been difficult; it's just got a lot more you know, undulations. It goes up and down a lot more. And this whole woods area, hardwoods biome, is exactly like uh, buckthorn, so it's. Kind of nice, kind of familiar. I kind of want to, want to go run off and play out there. Uh, but the hike continues and I just hope the weather holds up. And uh, almost, probably almost done here with the most difficult trail section. And then there's a lot of prairie, a lot of ground to cover. So we'll see how it goes. Well, it's over and I survived. This is the end of the most difficult trail. And I survived. So, I'm going to sit down and have some all-important power pellets and some water. Whew. And then it's out at the prairies. So, uh, take some video when I get there. I'm here on the uh, Woodland Edge Trail. And it's still kind of the same uh, woodsy area I was in before. Uh, and it's going to continue for about a mile or so. So we'll see if the terrain changes. It's pretty and it's very quiet seen some people but not many and you just hear the trees creaking in the background and the birds are chirping so we'll just uh, cover some ground here well we are finally out of the woods literally after about the uh, last hour walking through the woods we are now broken free and are getting into the prairie lands so, it's probably going to be hotter here, I'll just be out baking in the sun. But, uh, it's going to be a nice, it'll be nice to get out of the woods for a while. I've been in that brown, uh, brown muddy woods for a long time, so. So we'll be out in the prairie and uh, get some fresh air out here. And uh, hopefully the breeze will be blowing enough to keep the hot sun uh, from getting us too hot. It is just wonderful out here on the prairie. I just love it. I hear uh, sheep mowing me in the background and a rabbit ran in the woods and scared me. Uh, ran through the, uh, through the dried leaves. It's quite loud, uh, comparatively how quiet it is out here. Uh, so I'm gonna go on the prairie lookout trail, if I can find it, <laughs> and, uh, and hopefully it'll just be very pretty. And uh, we'll see, uh, the sun is out. There are lots of puffy clouds in the sky. Let me uh, get a shot of the sky up there. Hopefully the, it's not too dark. No, it's not that way. Uh, so the breeze is blowing, and it's uh, real pretty up here. i got to tell you, this is the part I've actually been looking forward to uh, since I decided to come on the prairie trails and woodland instead of going along the St. Croix River. Uh, this has been this prairie overlook trail, and uh, it's on this lake on the map. And uh, I've been looking forward to kind of seeing what it looked like. You 
can see from up here. It's a wonderful little lake down there. So I'm going to walk down there and get a little closer to it. And I will not subject you to the shaky camera of me walking down the hill. Uh, you can see the lake behind me here. Uh, the wind's picking up and if you can see the clouds up there. I think we're uh, playing a little race against the clock here. Uh, it's gonna, the storm's coming, so I'm gonna keep moving here. I uh, wish I could spend more time here in the lake, I'm sure it's pretty. But uh, I have about a mile of trail to cover here to get back to where I started, and then it's uh, probably most of another mile back to the parking lot, so I better uh, better keep moving here. The uh, dubious quality of the, uh, the Xeroxed maps of the trails has shown its true colors, because I seem to have taken a uh, wrong turn at a uh, at a trail intersection that was not on the map and I chose one and it would appear I chose the more lengthy of the options that did not present themselves on the map so I am uh, covering a lot of ground <laughs> and still want to keep going here in case the weather does uh, take a turn but it's still real pretty here's a farm abutting the uh, state park and now it is just trail ahead, trail behind, and just walking, walking, and walking, and hearing the frogs. Always with the frogs croaking and crittering and crickering. So we walk, and we walk, and we sweat. <laughs> All right, well, what they don't tell you is that these two trails actually touch this year. And so my intention was to go here, but instead I took the movie of the lake right here uh, and shot down this way, a shot of there. and then got back on the trail and intended to go around here, but instead I just thought, oh wow, this must be it here. So I walked all the way around here, and I'm now back at this. Well, I can officially say I'm pretty tired. I started out today with a little bundle of energy. But, uh, whew, a lot of walking, a lot of walking. So we've been in the hardwood forest, and that was really pretty. And uh, still in the prairie, going through a lot of prairie land. And it's been uh, very hot uh, here in the sun, but the winds kept going. And uh, we will be entering shortly the wetlands. So. Well, I made it out of the prairie. Whew, it was hot. And now we are entering the wetland area, which you can kind of see behind me here. Uh, so we're going to walk, uh, there's a trail going through there. And that will eventually, eventually uh, bring us back to the parking lot, where I will very happily sit in my car and drive home. Uh, one neat thing here, all this black area is from a prescribed burn. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can see it here, little green shoots of grass are beginning to already beginning to grow back up. And look at that line right there of uh, green to black. That's a, just a real sharp line there where the prescribed burn was. Pretty cool. These guys know what they're doing. So, out into the wetlands we go. We're in the heart of the wetlands down here. This is just the really low area. Uh, off there behind me, you can see where we came from. It kind of raises up. There are the train tracks up there. And then uh, all around here, you can see how low we are and just uh, right off of the trail down there, it gets uh, all wet in the wetlands. So, just from uh, woods to prairie to wetland, we're seeing it all today. And it looks like the clouds are going to hold off for a little longer. But, uh, gosh, I wonder if that's to the south. Looks like it's pretty bad. So, we should make it out of here in plenty of time and stay dry. Thank you goodness. see behind me, those are really dark clouds. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep moving, I think. I, I don't think I'm gonna sit and, 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 and really just take stuff in. I, it's probably a good idea to keep moving because I think that's coming my way. And uh, I have a long way to walk. Oh boy. It's possible I'm overreacting. But those clouds are really dark. And they're getting really close. And I have a half a mile left, at least. So, I'm gonna pick up the pace a little. All right, I'm just kind of resigned to my fate here. Uh, about uh, four tenths of a mile to go. And I'm on this paved street here. And so, so I don't see where the trail is. That's supposed to be the trail there, but it's a little wet. So, sun's still shining a little. 
So, you know, maybe I overreacted a little, got a little, got a little concerned, got a little worried, but I think things are going to be fine. There's Mr. Sun right now. So, I think we're going to be just fine. Make it back to the uh, parking lot and uh, get in the car before anything bad happens. Well, I made it. I'm here at the uh, na back of the nature center where it all began, where the trailheads are. It has gotten a lot cooler and the clouds are very dark and the wind is whipping. I'm getting out of here at the right time. I'm going home.